see my phone, my earbuds, my watch, my blender, my hair dryer. How am I gonna charge everything up in my life? I believe I can help you, young lady. And you are? Mr. Howell, first name Bellin. I'm Bellin Howell. Okay. I can help you charge in all of your devices with the Bell & Howell wall power. You take one three-prong outlet and it turns it into five three-prong outlets. And then in the front, you get two USB ports. But that's not all. You also get a nightlight, a built-in surge protector, and a little shelf on top for perhaps your phone or your tablet. So all of your devices are all plugged in and charged up in one place and get this. Today, you're getting two. That is one more than one. That is true. Thank you, Mr. Howell. Tina, it was me all along. <gasps> Don't quit your day job. If you would like to get your O2 pack and charge all of your devices, use the item number or the QR code, Mr. Mayberry. You're welcome. You hear <laughs> mustache came off? This mustache is not real. <laughs> When giving a gift at the holiday season, there's always that person that you have no idea what to get them. Um, I think of my dad or my brother. Um, I think this is a perfect gift. Look at this. It is like basically a baby fire pit. You know those big fire pits that everybody loves sitting around the fire? It's like cold outside. Well, maybe you live in like a townhome or condo and you have a limited outdoor space. You got like a little table, two chairs. All you need is a little fire pit. You just have your little fire in here and it's when it's time to put it out, you just put the lid on it and it's over. You can have that romantic outdoor time. So this is a great holiday gift for that person where you're like, huh, not really sure what to give them. I will be, what am I promoting? All right, welcome back everybody. Hey, we are only about 30 minutes away from our today's special. I don't know if you've seen it yet, but come on. You wanna have fun, you wanna have tasty sandwiches. This is so good and such a blast to use. It's the first ever from our Michelin star chef, our good buddy, Curtis Stone. You're gonna be able to make warm, toasty, delicious sandwiches in a matter of minutes. And what's great is you can create your own unique combos. Use up all those holiday leftovers. Make whatever kind of sandwich you want, whether you like grilled cheese, uh, you want to do uh, BLTs, you can do all kinds of stuffed sandwiches inside here. But here's what we did to make it special. We're going to give you two. Not one, but two. Because we know you're going to want to keep one and you might want to give one away. There are 20 recipes that comes with it. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, desserts. What about late night snacks? You want to make little stuffed sandwiches? Little, uh, you could go sweet. You can go savory. You can do whatever you want. We have all the colors still available. That is coming up in about 30 minutes from now and look at our price, $39.95 with free shipping and handling. That's an incredible deal. Uh, that's coming up very giftable. I uh, love kitchen items for gifts because people just love to cook, love to eat. All right, but we have something special. It is December. We know it's getting cold out everywhere. We know, I know for a fact it snowed up in New England. Uh, it snowed in the Midwest. It snowed everywhere. We have got something that we only do a couple times a year. It comes to us from, uh, from Snow Joe, which is a division of Sun Joe. This is our brand new Snow Joe 24 volt, uh, 12 by six inch path directional snow blower. What does directional mean? Directional means it's gonna shoot that snow in whatever direction you want. So whether it's forward, to the left, to the right, wherever, and it shoots that snow 20 feet away. So every day of the week, our price is gonna be 200, and $49.95, it's $80 off. And if you get a brand new HSN credit card, take another $40 off the price. It is free shipping and handling. And you'll notice something is missing. What's missing out there? Could it be? Yes, there's no cord. It uses a 24 volt battery. You can get up to 50 minutes of runtime on this baby, and it will clean your porch, your patio, your deck, your sidewalks, your driveways, and you're gonna do it in a lickety split no time at all. It's lightweight, it weighs less than 13 pounds, so you can pick it up from place to place. Don't struggle with a shovel. Don't struggle with a, with a big industrial five or $600 machine. Don't pay somebody to come at their leisure. 
You want to shovel your driveway? You can do it right away. You want to shovel your decks? You can do that right away as well. Item number is 088910. Here's everything you get, you're going to get because it's almost, it's a giant kit. First of all, you get the Snow Joe blower, okay? The impeller is in the front here, takes the snow and shoots it wherever you want it to go, okay? You're getting the, the bag to carry. You're getting the 24-volt battery. We even have a backup battery just in case you want to buy an extra battery, which is a really smart idea. If it snows for three hours, you're going to want, uh, you know, this thing goes up to about an hour. You're going to want that extra run time. And it really depends on the type of snow, if it's wet snow, light snow, whatever. The harder it works, the more it taxes the battery. Uh, we have the extra battery right over there. And you're getting the insulated mitt with the scraper built in. So if you need to do your windows and you need to scrape anything off your, it could be your windows of your house, you've got a scraper with an insulated mitt. Let me introduce you to my special guest from Sun Joe. Uh, this is Bobby Milliken. Bobby's been a friend of ours here for years and years. You know a lot about the indoors, outdoors, a lot about tools. I know about it. Dude, the <laughs> fact that we have one without a cord. Look, Ma, no I've tether. Ne no. never heard of that before. It's exciting. Yeah. How many hands am I taking to, Look at this. <laughs> to lift this? Right. So when you get a snowblower, when you think about it, you think, well, can I handle that? Is that going to be enough for me? And the answer is, well, this is definitely going to be enough power because it's over 300 watts. It can shoot snow over 20 feet. But the first thing I want you to notice is with two fingers, I'm lifting this. Look at it's that. It's because it's only 12 pounds. I'm twirling it like a baton. So when you think of the traditional snowblower, they're bigger. They're heavier, they take gas. We're gonna go all over that. But this is not that. This is powered by the battery. And I'm gonna get to a demo right away because, oh, hey, I wanna show you how it works. Watch this. this Ready? Is, this is so cool. Put it cool. down to the ground. Look at that. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> so what you're, what you're noticing is I'm clearing a path 12 inches, so a foot wide, right? I did a whole path in just a matter of seconds. Now, what I want you to, co to compare this to is old school, right? We all know about this guy, because this is what yeah. I had. This shovel was, it cost me about 40, 40 bucks. It's a backbreaker. This shovel. So you know what the deal is here, guy. You gotta bend down, get under it, okay, go back and then forth and do the heave ho. And I'm not sending that 20 feet. And if you think about it, this is kind of a dangerous time for a lot of us because yeah. I'll be honest, I'm not in shape as I once was. It's getting winter when the snow comes out. You know, I'm from Ohio, we had a lot of snow. So the snow could come out, I would get, I'd get my shovel and be all ready to go and yeah. juiced up and then the heart starts racing, you start sweating yeah. and you're like, man, I'm not really ready for it. That not, happens, you always read about, you, have, you read about people have issues in the winter time because Absolutely. they're not used to how heavy and how hard that is. Uh, and the motion, it hurts your back, all those things. Here's some uh, video that we shot, obviously we're in Florida, so we, we're using our artificial snow. But this is real video, Bobby. And look at how it, sh it shoots that real snow 20 feet away. And you can directional, you have directional control over the snow. So if you want it to go left or want it to go right, you can do that as well. So let me just tell you, I used to work for a snowplow guy when I was in high school. Yeah, right? okay, so you know all about this. It was the this. hardest job I've ever done in my life, all right? It was just brutal because we would have to go out with shovels and we'd have to clear areas. You gotta they do it. My father, okay, it was, I, I, I enjoyed doing it because I liked being outside, but we would, we would hit 30 different houses. And by the time we finished two, like three or four houses, yeah. we'd have people calling us to come back and do it again. Well, because I, you can't, you can't. I hate to break the guy, own, but he's the people we're trying to cancel out and not have to right, pay to do your own right. driveway. With Sun Joe and Snow Joe, you are empowered to do it yourself. Why? Because we give you the power. It's lightweight and anyone can use it. And let me just brag about our battery for a second. You get the battery, right? Guy? We give batteries. you everything that yep. you see here, we give you. This battery on hsn.com alone is I think a 60 or $70 battery. It's built in and comes with your kit. This is gonna give you a lot of runtime, over 300 watts of power. And you know what you're not doing? You are not no tethered cords. to this. So when the power goes out at your house. And that's dangerous anyway, because you're out in wet weather with a cord. I mean, it's just not smart. Yeah, and you're tied to this. And if the power goes out, you yeah. can't use your snowblower or your snowthrower. No. So get and rid of this. And what happens in a snowstorm? Your it's, power goes out. <laughs> power, oh, by the way, you know what you can do? You can go and get a gas-powered one. Good luck trying to get that thing started. You right. know, this is a true story, too. My dad, he never spent a lot of money on himself. But he, he was particular about the yard. Yeah. We lived in Connecticut, snowed all the time up right. there in the winter. He spent $2,000 on a snowblower. My mother, I my mother it. almost killed him. And he was like, honey, I don't want to go out there and have a heart attack. I want to get out there. I want to... Now he used the machine, right. but it was a $2,000 machine. I believe it, because those can be that That's pricey crazy. all day long. And there was year, years and, where he only used it twice. And you're not going <laughs> to obviously pay that now. And the uh. thing about this is, is it's so lightweight. Again, anybody can do, can do this. And again, I'm going to 
ask you to come down here and to show you what's going on here. First of all, you have a dual rotating auger. It's a, it's a paddle auger that's throwing the snow. It's high impact, low temperature. The snow is launching against that backboard 20 feet out. You've got 12 inches across for your path. And guy, get this, six inches deep is how much snow you That's can clear. So half you a think foot about of snow, Bobby. how fast I can clear that row, this row. And you know what you know what I'm not doing? I'm not having to bend down and no. scoop and shovel. I can stand up in a regular position and do it just like that. And you know what I want to talk about right now, guy? And I think we might even have a graphic to show this is the surfaces. That's huge, huge, huge because this snow thrower can go on a multitude of different surfaces. I think we're showing you right here, your asphalt, your blacktop, your driveway, your grass for, Bumpy, the, yeah. for, the, for, yeah, for your pets, the pavers, your tile, your concrete sidewalk, all of these things. Why, why am I impressed with that? Like, why is that a big deal? Yeah. Well, because with the traditional snow blower, it's heavier. Yeah. It scrapes the bottom guy because the metal strips. I know. So we yep. all spend a lot, a lot of money on our outdoor Look area. At that. Real snow. Real snow Look right there. Look at the steps. The most dangerous part of your house in the winter are the steps. And if you leave snow out there and it warms up, it's going to turn to ice. The nice thing about this is, and my father, like I told you before, because he loved his dang snowblower so much, yep. he'd go out there three or four times during a storm. Made my mother crazy. You often have to do that. If you've got a giant heavy machine, first of all, you're not gonna get a heavy machine on steps. No, you're not, Ever. You're not lifting a regular snowblower no. up onto steps. This you can go anywhere with and you have the flexibility. And listen, I know as you're tuning into this presentation, you may be thinking to yourself, oh, well, I don't have snow now. But if you're in any area up north where you know the snow is about to come, how are you prepared? What are you doing? Do you, do you have anything? If not, <laughs> this is the right time, the right place to hop in and get it. Do you just have a heavy snow blower that's not quite as lightweight, it's not quite as flexible, can't go as many places? Well, then now is the time to do it. And I've got, Guy, we have new dogs, last point. Yeah, yeah. We, but Guy and I both have new dogs. If you've got that grass out there, you need to clean a little area for them. Look at this. This is just gonna slide and glide on yeah. that turf and that grass. Clear so again, area for your pets. you clear yeah. out the potty path for your little yeah. pets. So whether it's your driveway, your, um, your steps, Whatever the area or whatever the surface, this is going to be perfect for you. You know who else is going to love this? If you have a smaller area, you know, I have a house, but if, you have, if you've got a, a, an apartment or a small condo and you just have a little area of snow that you need to do, this is so lightweight and small profile, you can get in there, get rid of that snow quick and easy, hang, hang it up because you know it's something? got a hook right here and you're I'll done. I'll tell you this, if you use, where's that other shovel? Uh, right behind you to your if right. If you use this shovel and it's full of snow, it's yeah. probably the same weight as this, I mean, think about that, but you're lifting that yeah. 50, 100, 200 times yeah. every time you have to lift that snow up. Or you can use this where every time you move it, the snow is already removed, it's yeah. gone. And it works on dry snow, wet snow. And I said before, the battery life is about, it's about 50, 55 minutes, but that depends on the type of snow. If you have heavier or wet snow, it's gonna tax the motor a little bit, so you may get 30 or 40 minutes. But you've got quick charging batteries. We have a backup battery that you can pick up today. And guess what? With the discount, this is $249. It's $80 off. Pick up another battery and for did 60 you, did bucks. You tell them about this that they get, too. You get the ice scraper. Dude, this is what I love about last year. I want year. that for my car. So last year we yeah. had a TS. What I love about this year is, is we added a few bonuses. You get this ice scraper with the mitt. So, guy, not only do we all need the ice scraper if you have anywhere with the ice and the snow, but you keep your hands nice and cozy and warm oh, yes. in the mitt. That's one upgrade. The second is lightweight. Last year was about 14 and a half. Cool. This is 12 and a half pounds. Look at this. And then, <laughs> that, that is super cool. I, it's awesome, and I have big hands. I'm just happy that it fits, and I'm like, to and, just scrape your windows to have something that's nice and warm, you know, yeah. because when you're in the car driving, you don't want to have to put all your clothes back on. You just want to get out there quick and you want to scrape. You don't want to be in the driver's seat reaching That's your hand brilliant. around or using like a credit card Quality or something like that. that. Yeah, and look inside. It's all fleece line on the inside, so it's nice Beautiful. and comfortable. And then the little grip for the scra scraper is on the inside. That is included. Uh, the battery is included. The bag is included. Yeah. Um, all that, it's $169. Listen, <laughs> try it out. You got the rest of December and all of January. If you want to return it after that, go right ahead. I don't think you will. I've never seen a better machine or a cordless one. I mean, think about the hassle of having to shovel. Wouldn't it be easier to throw on your jacket, your boots, and your gloves, grab the machine and go shovel? Or would you rather get a plug, an extension cord? Which, by the way, if you've got areas all around your house, 
good luck trying to find an extension cord or trying to find <clears> a plug right. to plug it in. You just get going and all you do is squeeze the trigger. That's, That's it. it. Yeah, and we come back to me, I'll show you how easy it is to use. You've got a little safety trigger right here, so you engage that with your thumb, and little then you button. just pull the trigger, and then the auger goes. I'll hold that steady to camera. This is going over 2,700 revolutions per minute. Again, you're clearing hundreds of pounds of snow. It's that dual paddle auger, low impact. It's just, it just does a great job. And what I want to show this year Look at this guy. I don't know if you knew we added this. This is new. The directional. Yeah, that's right. You talked about it at the beginning. Thank you. You yeah. did. It's a directional. So I can change this if I want to direct which way the snow goes. Yeah. Now, I can't. It's like a boat motor. Yeah. yeah. And, I, and I'll show you in here. I can't demonstrate in studio because I can't shoot off left or right. But just to show you again how it works, if you can push a vacuum, if you can push a baby stroller, then you can certainly push this. I can do it one handed, just looking, not even looking, yeah. right? How am I doing, guy? Fantastic. <laughs> hey, Bobby. Yeah. If you go from that angle, can you try a little bit of the... Just a I don't want to make a mess for Jimmy. Yeah, just a tiny... Jimmy said don't Jimmy's do it. Jimmy's like, no, no. Just to <laughs> well, give me an idea. It's, it's, just, there you go. It shoots off to the right. Yeah, Again, it shoots I off to the right. It shoots too far for me to do it. No, go I don't want to. <laughs> Jimmy's my buddy. Jimmy's I don't, need, him. Me I don't need more work for Jimmy. <laughs> He's like, don't do it. When you're... And by the way, and this is, this is a really good point to bring up, the snow that we use here is an artificial snow. Yep. It probably weighs five times the weight of regular snow. Yep. So we are really putting this through all the, all the tough tests. This is harder. This is like wet snow. So because it's, because it's actually, yeah, it's, it's water-based and gel-based. So it's heavy. So when you're doing, you're getting fresh snow, that's going to be, that's going to be so easy for you. Yep. Don't, don't resort to the shoveling. Every year we read about people keeling over, hurting their back. It's a lot. Having an issue because they get out there and they try to do too much because they want to be the savior. And by the way, just for your steps, if you just bought this for your stairs and your pathway. That's it, it's worth it if right you, there. If you've got a big long driveway and you're like, hey, I'll still pay somebody, go ahead, that's fine. But guess what, they're gonna charge you extra to do all the areas. Actually, they won't even do it. Because I know me They're and my like, guys, I'm not going up those steps no, of this. They, 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 you, they, you pay extra if you want to do all the steps and all the other stuff. So you can do that easy. So listen, don't, you know, don't go rent a big unit. Don't go buy a big unit unless you've got so much driveway acreage that it makes sense. If you're just a regular everyday household like guys or mine or you've got an apartment or condo, this is the quickest, fastest way to remove snow that I know. And it's one of the only snow blowers that has that directional ability yeah. that's not a huge you know, $2,000 unit. We no. never had that before. And trust us when we say you're getting a great name brand. We're Sunjo. We're Snowjo. We've been in the business over 15 years. Three year, three year warranty. warranty. Three year warranty. And on a snowblower. And guy. I bet my dad's, are. the one my dad had 2000, I bet it had a one year warranty. He spent 2000 bucks on. This is three times. I and know. we're the number one brand of snowblowers in the United States. So we are the market leader. I want to show you over here. I'm trying not to slip. It's very slippery. So if I fall, don't, don't make fun yep. of me, guy. No, we you got good, a, little, bro. a pile right here. So this is maybe three inches deep right here. That's maybe six. But my point is this, if you get snowed in, yeah, maybe, you know, like 12, yeah, maybe you, you bring out the big snowblower. But if you can get to it like this high and below. Yeah. Hey, you Bobby. Can, you, yeah. Let it, we're gonna, let's try to get a, can we get a closer shot of the pile? Because from yeah, that how, distance, it's all white. You can't really you see can't really it. Tell. You see, I, but maybe Bobby I can, can put his hand in there. Yeah, see how this is kind of, this level and then this pile I got up here. I yeah, don't know yeah, if you, yeah. Maybe I put a, a round. Yeah, that's great. My point is, is that it's light Watch enough this. weight that you can go across the top, right? Like that. If it were so deep, you could just use, it's so light, you could just do a couple quick passes to get right down to the ground. Look how good it gets down to the ground. There's like no snow there. I'm super impressed by this one, how, how it gets right down to the ground. And again, don't forget, look, no matter if I'm on, the, on that surface, I'm gonna watch my step and come backwards here, or if I'm on this surface, yeah. look how it's not, it's, it glides it's, right yep. through. Or yep. if I'm on this surface, same thing. And I'm gonna turn the unit over and explain why. This is that durable scraper blade. It's plastic, but it's durable plastic. But this is your yeah. best friend because the snow just goes in there and pushes out and just keeps it nice and smooth and even and slides and glides so that yeah. it does not damage. And that's huge. That's a huge, huge point. I, I just love the simplicity of it because I think a lot of people are afraid of power tools. Yeah. They think, <laughs> oh my gosh, especially an electric or a gas power tool. Look at this is this is all you need. This is it. That's I it. mean, we're talking about what we say, 11, 12 pounds. 12 pounds. That's it. You can use this anyway. You could go up and down stairs if you have a deck like when, when I grew up. Here we go, like this. We had, we had a, a deck like this. Do this. You could easily get the steps. 
You could get around, like my dad had a hot tub outside. You go yeah. around the hot tub, you could go all there. You can do all your stairs, yeah. all your uh, pathways, your driveways. I mean, if you got a, a big area around your pool and you want to get the snow out of there, you can do all of that and you can do it very, very easily. Hundreds of you are in the ordering process right now. This price is too good to resist. It's, what, $80 off. If you get a brand new H cent credit card, we'll take another $40 off. Don't struggle this winter. While your neighbors are out there spending, I don't know, $100 or $200 a month on a service, Yeah. you can do it for half that price. Save yourself the money from yeah. hiring a professional or renting. You've got this unit now at home with the battery. You've got yep. the 24-volt lithium-ion battery. By the way, Guy, this battery works in over 100 of our other Sun Joe and Snow Joe items. So now you're going to have a backup battery if you already own one of the other tools in our family. So even if your power goes out at home, you come out your front door, right from your front door, whoops, watch yourself, do the welcome mat, <laughs> yeah. do your composite right there, bring it down, do your, so I start up here out of my door, I did this one, then I come and do my step here, right down to this, and then I'll do one last demo for a guy, you ready go, for go. it? One last watch one, that. one handed, Boom. there we go, all the way. Keep going. You can do that, oh my gosh, we're making it. You know, <laughs> and I'll tell you this, here. and the only reason I can bring this up, and I'm not trying to scare anybody too much, but my mother slipped and broke a hip once, and she did that in the rain. Snow is dangerous, Snow is ice is dangerous. If you're a senior out there and you can still handle 10 or 11 or 12 pounds, get this thing home, you're gonna love it. And don't forget about the backup battery to get with it. Bobby, great job. Thank you, it's exciting, love it's it. good. You're gonna I, love how well it clears. I love this stuff. This is awesome. I love this stuff, thank you, partner. Yeah, absolutely, guys, Jimmy, enjoy it. thank you, buddy, thanks for setting it up. All right, hey, make sure you check out hsn.com. Uh, what do we got, Andrew Lessman, all free shipping? And, and special pricing, now's the time to stock up. Hey, listen, you know how we all have a tendency to be unhealthy around the holidays? Take your supplements, why not? It's the best in the business. You can stock up right now with free shipping and great prices on all that stuff. So, we are gonna go inside. We've got our good friend Curtis Stone who's gonna be joining us with our best value of the day. Continue ordering your snowblower, and I'll see you guys indoors. Let's leave it warmer. Tis the season to be a VIP. Use your HSN card to get the best deals on gifts for everyone. Shop now for the holidays and pay over time with extra flex or VIP financing on every item and at least eight VIP savings events a year. Plus the HSN card has no annual fee. Not a card member? Apply now and instantly get $40 off when you're approved. Visit hsn.com slash HSN card or call 1-800-695-1418 for details. gift I've ever received was a beautiful black doll. When I was a little girl, I loved dolls. But I grew up in the 60s and 70s where there weren't a lot of different dolls and different races of dolls. And I remember one Christmas, my parents surprised me with the most beautiful doll. I was so happy. Uh, and so it just brings such great fond memories for me. And that is definitely the best gift I ever received. All right, you ready to have some fun? Uh, you know, I'll, I'll know that I love, came from the restaurant business years and years ago, and I love, I love to cook, I love to make things, I like to be creative. Well, I gotta tell you, Curtis Stone, who is our Michelin star chef, who we love, has been with us for years and years and years. Number one uh, uh, kitchen uh, brand here at HSN is Curtis. He has put together a remarkable Today Special. Not one, but two of the most amazing, fun, tasty, delicious sandwich makers. Our best value of the day, here we go. All right, so if we were giving you one of these, that would be a good deal for 39 bucks because you're gonna use this thing all the time. Midnight snacks, lunch, dinner, breakfast, desserts, whatever it is you wanna make sweet, savory, you can do it all. And all you're doing is putting some bread inside there, whatever it is you wanna put inside there, and you're closing it. That is it, it has an adjustable latch, so if you're making fuller sandwiches, you can do that as well. Everybody is gonna get two of these. They create warm, toasty, delicious, Sandwiches, look at inside here. Oh my gosh, Melissa. She put this in for me. Look at this, look at this, look at this. You ready? Oh jeez, look at this. Hold on, hold on Mikey, get the shot. You ready for this? This is just a beautiful grilled cheese. I'm gonna cut it down the middle. 
and I'm gonna show you. What do you think of this? Does that look good? <laughs> Does that look absolutely, wow, that's hot. Uh, oh my gosh. You know how hard it is for me not to take a giant bite out of that dang thing right now? But that's just one thing. If you're a grilled cheese fanatic, like most every human being on the planet is, especially kids, right? They can learn this. It could be their first little electric that you teach them how to use if they're old enough, obviously. But you're gonna get two of these. So let me go over and I'll show colors. And then we'll have Curtis. Uh, we've got Curtis uh, on Skype. He's gonna be joining us in just a minute. So breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Here we go. Everybody gets two. We wanted to do two because we're like, you're gonna buy this and wish you got yourself one. I know you will. Because everybody wants to make a grilled toast, uh, toasty sandwich and they don't wanna have to get out a fry pan, flip it over, make sure it doesn't burn on one side. They cook perfectly on both sides. So, everybody that orders will get a black. And then you get your choice of color. This is the yellow, so you get a black and a yellow. Black and white. Black and hunter green. Classic blue and black. Stone gray and black. I may get this today. God, Danny would, you know who would love this? Danny, my son's girlfriend would love this because she's a big grilled cheese fan. Um, and so easy to make. Mulberry in black, you have turquoise in black, and then finally we have red. 20 recipes come along with it. It's so easy to use. If you can take pieces of bread out of a bag and put things inside it and close it, you can use this. So you don't have to be a chef like our Michelin star chef, our wonderful friend Curtis Stone, who is standing by Good morning, my friend. You have outdone yourself. I am ordering this as soon as I get off air. Mate, it's so <laughs> fun to play with. And, and I know it's not a toy. I know it's an appliance, but it is a toy to me and it'll be a toy to you. You do get two. By the way, every single person that purchases today gets two of these incredible little books. So we've given you over 20 recipes and have a look at these gorgeous recipes. So you're getting this little recipe book included in both boxes because you're getting these in separate little boxes so whether you're gifting one keeping them both gifting them both you get two of these gorgeous books so that's um lots of inspiration let me show you how you use it though mate because check this out i've actually thrown my bacon actually cooking my bacon i've done sausages in i've done hash browns um in here as well i'm going to lift that bacon out grab myself a piece of bread I've thrown on some cheese. Now, you can load this up with whatever you want. I put my bacon, of course, back in because the great story behind this is how much food you can actually put. I can put a hash brown in there. I can put a chip, another piece of cheese. And then have a look at this sandwich and you think there's no way that fits, right? Well, guess what? All you do is you place that down, you pull it. Listen, you'll hear it click once, twice, three, four, Five. There's five different settings, so you can do a really super thick sandwich or you can um, squash it right down to be a thin one. This is how it comes out. It's literally in there for five minutes. And have a look at what I've got. Oh, my gosh. This, this is that beautiful breakfast sanger, that breakfast sandwich that I just made. Have a look at this. I'm going to go through it. I'm using my cordless electric knife, but have a look at this. Oh, my gosh. I mean, imagine, you guys, <laughs> if this was breakfast. Sausage, oh. uh, hash brown, I mean, all the good stuff, right? Now, of course, if you wanted to, you pop it on there. I've got a few extra sausages that I did cook inside. Mm. Go ahead and put whatever sauce you want. Maybe you like a little barbecue sauce over your breakfast sandwich in the morning. A little bit of parsley. I tell you what, if someone served this to me, mate, I would be pretty happy. Oh. Now, the reason we've given you two is I know you're going to want to keep one and you're going to want to gift one. Over here, I've got the blue. Last night, we sold out of the gold. I think the Hunter Green, there's a handful of those left. We'll talk about colours in a minute because, unfortunately, we're already in that sellout um, moment. Have a look here. I've gone ahead and done a sweet one. I'll take a board there, Vanessa, thanks. Have a look at this. I'll just cut it right here then. Um, check this out. I've gone ahead and I've done a beautiful sweet sandwich. So, because you'll do sweet and savoury, of course. Look, look at, at that. This. this is cream cheese, oh. you guys, with a little bit of raspberry. I mean, does it get much better than that? Oh, my I gosh. I finish it, of course, a little bit of raspberry sauce. I've got a little bit of powdered sugar. No, I don't, just joking. There is some powdered sugar somewhere, but you can just see. <laughs> I mean, imagine the, look you, at the that. options are oh. endless. And right? so, I was going to say, Curtis, you're not doing anything difficult. <laughs> it's so easy. It's so easy. That's what's well, meant to be fun. You know what? It's the holidays. And imagine gifting somebody one of these under that Christmas tree. 
I've done pizza dough, because yes, you can do pizza dough. It doesn't have to be bread. Tortillas work so beautifully well. I'll take a board, thanks, Vanessa. Um, and it's so, so simple and easy to do. So check this out. This is a pizza sandwich. So everything that you would put in a pizza filling. By the way, have a look at this, Dave. I mean, look at the cleanup, you guys. As with all of my nonstick, all you do is give it a real quick old wipe like that, and you're, you're good to go. All right, now back to the good stuff. Check this out. I'm going to just go in here with my cordless electric knife, and you can see it. I mean, cheesy, fantastic. So this is the pizza. I've got to get through that bottom crust as well. There we are. Oh, my lordy, lordy, lordy. Okay. Have a look at the quantity oh. of fillings you can, you can fit in there. I was right. just thinking about all the different sandwiches you can make. Like I just did this, I don't know if you could, I just did this grilled cheese. And I mean, you, you, if you have kids or grandkids, oh, all right, look at that. Unbelievable. And this came off like five minutes ago and you see how beautifully it's toasted. That perfect color. If you want to, and by the way, I, we have Curtis's bacon coming up. And I gotta tell you, it's the best bacon you'll ever try in your entire life. That's coming up in a little bit. So if you wanna make a hot BLT, if you wanna do, uh, you know, stuff things, if you got leftover pasta with sauce and meatballs, chop it up and put it on a sandwich. Garlic bread, I mean, I could, Curtis, you could go on forever with the different combinations of sweet and savory. You don't need to be a okay. chef to use this. You do, and, and you what about holiday the leftovers, process. right? Right. Absolutely, the bacon's uncured. We're gonna we're gonna do a little demo. No nitrates, no nitrites, but it is smoked, and the flavour of this mm. bacon will blow your mind. Mate, there's so many options. I mean, look at what I did yesterday. I went to a grocery store and I said, "What if I was to buy some store-bought cookie dough?" And here it is. Have you ever been and had one of? The, I just squash it down just like that, and then of course I just click that all the way down. Have you ever been to the movies or, or, or had one of those incredible cookies? Have a look at this. I mean. You can see that beautiful golden brown, right? Have a look. It's soft and delicate in the center. Let me grab a plate. You ready? I'll flip it for you. I mean, yes. If you've ever wow. had a cookie straight out of the oven, you know how good that can taste. I've got a little ball of ice cream here. I'm going to do just a tiny little drizzle of chocolate sauce. I'm lying when I say tiny little drizzle. You know that. <laughs> um, I've had sugar. It's just a good. But you that. can just see how fantastic... That is, and if I show you, um, I'll take a spoon too, thanks, Vanessa, because um, I just, I'm greedy. You know, I know it's morning time and I know it's <laughs> breakfast, but what I want is I want for you to just understand that the crispiness of the outside of this cookie and then that delicate inside. I mean, by the way, every, I think we've sold 15,000 of these yeah, already. Yeah, we just every went over. One of you yep. That already has this in your cart. Try this. You Try know, a whole piece of cookie. God, I know you're going to eat because that's what I love about you. I love that you always trust a chef that eats his own food all the time. <laughs> Let me just tell you, I listen. And, and by the way, there are waffle irons. There are all kinds of different electronics that are out there, and they're all great. What's wonderful about this is a lot of our customers, Curtis, are empty nesters. They don't need to make 35 sandwiches at a time. Right. They want to make one really delicious or two or three. And here's the thing. You can make a sandwich in a few minutes, all right? All it, all it has to do is toast up. And you don't. Have, it's nonstick. You don't have to put any butter in there, although I like a little butter, a little olive oil for flavor. But think about it. Breakfast, you can do your egg sandwiches, and then you can tuck them away and bring them to work with you. Uh, if it's for lunch, a, a hot sandwich is so much more uh, more satisfying in the wintertime than a cold sandwich. Get a hot sandwich. If you want a snack in the afternoon, if you want a dessert, you could take, Curtis, you know what just came into my head? The peanut yeah. butter, bacon, your bacon, peanut Ooh. butter, and banana. Oh my, God. that's what's so cool about this guy. You get super creative. I can't tell you how much fun I've had with my kids. We wrote the demo plan for this months ago, and then I took home the samples and I did it with my kids. The demo plan all changed because they were like, what about banana and Nutella? What about using leftover stuffing, right? We just discovered this one. Here's some stuffing that's left over from, from Thanksgiving or will be left over at your joint probably from Christmas. You throw it in. You don't have to be. You don't have to be delicate. Look how much fits in here, and then you just squash it down. This is what happens in literally four, five to six minutes. Have a look oh, at how. Wow. It, this is just stuffing. There's no bread involved. I mean, I'm not building a sandwich here. I'm literally just lifting that out, right? Let me just show you inside because it's, yes, listen to the crispiness. Yeah. You can hear. Sounds like uh, Santa's arriving. But you can hear <laughs> that, that, 
look, look how soft Perfect. and turkey it is on yes. the inside. And then this is what I do. I finish it with a little leftover gravy from the big roast, right? And then, of course, a little Parmesan cheese, a little bit of parsley. You guys, you can do this with mashed potato. You can do it with leftover macaroni and cheese. The flavors that you will develop from this incredible little machine are just unbelievable. Oh, it's breakfast time, right? We've probably got some smoked salmon in the fridge. Well, guess what? Have a look at this incredible, this is rye bread, so you can see how perfectly dark this one's gone. Mm -hmm. I've gone ahead and filled it with cream cheese oh my and gosh. smoked salmon, oh because my yes, I can. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> that's what's just so fun about it. You oh. go on through. Let me show you the size of these oh, sandwiches. I mean, that. can you believe that? Have a look at how thick this is. We call it the stuffed sandwich maker. It's not one of those small ones. You know those, those sandwich makers yeah. that used to sort of or automatically cut it in the middle. No, this is that beautiful, big, wonderful, wonderful. I've got some sriracha aioli that would be kind of delicious. With this hey, as well. hey, Curtis, I got a quick question for you. Yeah. So, can yeah. I could I also use like prepared doughs, like you know, for sweet rolls and things like that? Could I use those or like okay. like the pizza roll things? I could do that too. Let me show you the the, the little um dough that we have, the Pillsbury stuff, that we, we, we went to the grocery store, we got all that stuff and we tried it all in. You can make biscuits in here. Thank you so much. So these are the little croissants. I'm sure you've, you've seen these in the store before. Yep. And you just literally pop it like that, right? You open up this dough and this makes beautiful little croissants. I'll get um, the, the guys, we'll, we'll make one for you to show you okay. exactly how that works. Um, before I get there though, mate, look at this. You can even use a cake batter in it. Look, I've gone ahead and I've done this delicate little um, sponge cake. So you oh can do vanilla, gosh. chocolate. It will cook cake. So look, what we've done here is we've gone ahead and you can see what I've done right there, Dave. Like it's a beautiful little layer cake, right? So uh, I can show you exactly how we do that. By the way, you can just go ahead, pipe on the chocolate cream or the whipped cream, just like this. Um, and then, of course, this will cool. You'll put the next layer on there. So you can get these gorgeous little cakes done that. absolutely simply and easily. And that's done in a sandwich maker. That, I mean, yeah. to call it a sandwich maker is kind of an insult because the truth is you're only limited by your imagination. And everyone, Guy, everyone. In fact, you're getting two machines. You're also taking home two of these incredible little books that are just filled with recipes. By the recipes. way, you made that cake in a matter of minutes, that little cake. And you know what? If you were served that in a five-star restaurant, they'd probably put a little gold leaf on the top and you'd pay 25 or $30 for it. And you wouldn't bat an eye. So you can do that. I yep. love that you can put batters in there. I didn't even know that. That's fantastic. So if you need to make a quick cake. How cool cake, is that? I mean, that's awesome. by the way, you, you just mentioned how much the dessert would cost. You're paying $19 and change for each of these. <laughs> so, I mean, what a gift. I'm so, and it's all free shipping and handling. My whole brand, you can buy a 12-piece cookware set today. I and know. it's free shipping and handling. All right, I'm going to do, now, co I'm gonna do colors in a second, Curtis. Yeah, I'll yeah. let you do your sandwich, and I'll do colors. Go ahead. Well, mate, this is inspired by you. You mentioned uh, <laughs> banana and, um, and uh, what would you say, peanut butter. So yeah. here we go. Peanut put some butter. That, put some bacon on there too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some banana. Okay, we'll get some bacon in there. Or maybe we'll serve the bacon on the side. And then I've got the chocolate going in, mate. So chocolate, banana. Yeah, this is why Emerson, not? Dave, my, my youngest oh. boy. And the great thing is you stack it high yeah. and then you just squash that baby down. And lock it in. And that's it. Look at real, that. Real All right, so we're reminding you, you're getting two. Everybody that orders will get one for themselves, and one is a gift or two great gifts. And if you want to give these to your kids that are away at school, think about this for a college student, right? The ability, because, you know, they can't have, like, real cookers, but the ability to make a sandwich with leftovers is fantastic. Look at that right there. If that doesn't make you drool, I don't know what does. Remember, everybody gets two. Um, you can get two in black. Everybody, every other combination includes one black and one color. So we have black and yellow. We have a black and white. Everybody gets two. Uh, Hunter Green, which is going to be the next one to sell out. I have it in the classic blue. I'm going to buy the stone gray. I'm going to keep one and give one probably to Danny's girlfriend. She'd love that for her apartment. Uh, Danny's my son. I'm going to get a, a mulberry and a black right here. We've got turquoise. And then we also have red. You get all the instructions. They're really, the instructions are put stuff in it and close it. There's a little on light that tells you green means you're ready to go. Red means you're heating up. As soon as it turns green, you pop it open, 
You put whatever you want to put inside there, you lock it, you click it, you're done. All right? Uh, instructions on how long things take uh, are in the book, but you're going to figure it out. You know how long it takes because the average sandwich is probably going to take five or six minutes, if that, because all you're doing is really toasting the bread and providing the heat for the interior. But you can make everything from little pizza sandwiches. You can do BLTs because Curtis's famous bacon is coming up. You could do Rubens. Oh my gosh, with the Russian dressing and the coleslaw and, oh, and the sauerkraut. You could do any kind of a sandwich you want, but you're not limited to that. Cakes. You could do probably, if you bought pie crust, I bet you could do little pies in here, Curtis. Curtis, right? Of course you can. Yeah, we, we've done pizza dough, we've done croissant dough, yeah. we did biscuits, we've done cookie dough. I mean, check this out, mate. I'm going to bury the lead here. Look at this. This is a gorgeous, big, cheesy, garlicky pull apart. Let me show you how I did it. First of all, you just drop this down. So when you're sitting down, they're little pretzel bites, right? Oh, it's too hot for me to do. But you can see, actually, let me get. Um, a pair of tongs, because I really do want you to see, once this cools down just a little bit, you know what, I'll come back to it, because it's a little hot, hot for hot. to touch. Yeah. But let me show you how I made it. First of all, this is that beautiful yellow. If you want the yellow, jump on in. So, first of all, I bought these from the store, these little pretzel um, bites, right? So you can just throw those in. Then I got a little garlic butter, because I love garlic butter, and, you know, the flavour of that's going to be unbelievable. Then I throw in some cheese, and then I rinse and repeat. I put more of my pretzel bites in. Right, so these you just buy from the store. You can throw more of that garlic butter if you want to. And I know you're looking at this and thinking, there's no way that all fits together, right? I put even more cheese, because the cheese can go straight on the nonstick because you know my nonstick, right? Yep. Then I drop this down, and you think there's no way that fits. Oh, yeah, you just pull that down, and then that clips, right? So here's the result. It's now had a second to cool. You can now pull apart oh this cheesy... Delicious. So I actually serve this instead of a bread roll. Yeah. I tell you what, mate, people <clears throat> absolutely love it. Of course, you can garnish it up with a little bit more Look parmesan, a little bit of... <clears throat> I mean, hallelujah! It's like the monkey bread. <laughs> you make your own monkey bread. Look at that. Wow. Well, guy, even for people that, you know, just want a little snack, maybe you live alone, right, and you don't yeah. want to heat up the oven and get out your sheet trays and do the whole thing, look at what I've done. Chicken wings. Look at that. Wow. Four perfect little, little chicken griddle. wings. Yeah. And it gets it. We put these in from raw. These crisp up so beautifully. Of course, the cleanup is absolutely a breeze. Have a look at that. Again, a little bit of cheese, a little bit of barbecue sauce for me. Maybe you like a little hot sauce, so I'll go ahead, give it a little hot sauce as well. And you've got these unbelievable... For game day snacks, I mean, whether it's chicken wings, I've used it to cook sausage. We did the bacon. We've got the bacon coming up. What about a patty melt? Oh, listen, <laughs> if you try one thing, you have to try the patty melt. By the way, you can cook the burger in here ahead of time, and then you go ahead and load up that sandwich. Okay, let me just go ahead and get this out. So simple to do, right? Beautiful, cheesy, crusty deliciousness. Have a listen. Listen to this. Oh, Can you yeah. hear? Oh, yeah. Right? Sounds so unbelievable. And then let me just cut right on into this baby. I'm using my cordless electric knife. You can use a serrated knife. Even a straight-edge knife works as well. Have oh, yeah. a look at that. Yummy. Right? Ugh. So that's the most beautiful part of this guy. You will just have so much fun with it. And that yeah. is what everybody you know, because there's there's really no there's no sandwich you really couldn't make. <laughs> I mean, you know, there's a lot of things you don't cook in a sauté pan. There's a lot of things you don't bake in the oven. But in a in a sandwich maker, all it is is whatever type of bread, and that could be dough. It could be uh, you know the the rolls that you buy that come in the uh, in the refrigerator section. It could be it could be tortillas if you want to go lean, right? And you want to do oh. you could do bar you could do uh, you know like Southwest tortilla rolls. You could put avocado, and you could put chicken, and you could put peppers in there. You could do so many things, and then you just put bread on the bottom and bread on the top, and you could do. I, I mean, I'm a I'm a big fan of a patty melt, man. You give me a patty melt with Swiss cheese, and uh, you put some pickles on there. Oh my gosh, that is so yeah. good. You're only limited by your own imagination. We are doing a deal today. Normally, the retail is almost double, 60 bucks. Our price is about 50. You're getting it about $40. That's less than uh, $20 a piece for each machine. How about this? You get a brand new eight cent credit card today? Let's pull that up. $40 in your account. You'll get two machines if you get a new credit card today for a couple of dollars because you'll have to pay tax. That is it.
So a machine for each machine for probably a dollar a piece. All right, dollar fifty two dollars a piece. You can get them home with a brand new H cent credit card today. All right, should I go colors one more? They want me to do new colors again, Curtis. So I'm gonna go over and do colors. Right. If... So everybody will get a black, okay? Or you can get two black. Um, with your black, you can choose a color. Curtis just showed you that yellow, beautiful, great, bright yellow color. We have it in black and white. You get a black one or, and a green one. You get a black one and a blue one. Uh, a black and stone gray. This is the mulberry with the black. This is turquoise. And then finally, this is red. So if you want to match this to your appliances, if you're giving this to a kid, like a college student, they would love it. I, I honestly, Curtis, I'm looking at it. I was thinking about Danny's girlfriend. I'm thinking about my mother. My mother has a live-in caregiver. And every day oh, yeah. they, they try to be creative about what they're going to have for lunch. They can use any leftovers that they have and they can make sandwiches out of them. <laughs> and my mother's caregiver, Mary, she makes her own bread. So imagine toasting right. bread in here that's homemade. Oh my gosh, crazy. <laughs> Guy, I, I gave one to my mother-in-law and said, just have a play with it. Tell me what you think. Yeah. You think I gave her a chunk of gold? <laughs> she loves it. She's making, because she's Korean, so she's doing all sorts of Korean barbecue. It is the perfect thing for leftovers. Check this out. This is the mulberry, right? I'm going to lift this up. Let me show you how big you can go. So I've actually got a bun here. You can see that's a full bun, right? I put the bottom in here. So then I take some leftover pulled pork. I throw that in. You can see how much I put, right? Then I take some pickles. This is actually a Cuban sandwich. Throw in the pickles. Then, of course, you need the cheese. But I'm not done. Then I want slices of ham. Now, have a look at the size of this sandwich and tell me that that fits into the most sandwich makers. All you're going to do is give that a little push down, just like that. Then you're going to come on over here, you're going to pull that down, and you will hear that start to click, and that, my friends, will latch, right? You can see that latch over here. Let me show you the result. Again, I pop it open. You can see here, this is done with no butter whatsoever. Look at this. I like to use some butter. You don't have to. It's totally up to you. Again, I go on through that. I'm going to go and cut, cut right on through that beautiful sandwich. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I can't have wait. Look at this. A look. Cuban. That's what they're supposed to look like, Curtis. <laughs> this. Look at. Pieces for me. <laughs> oh I mean, my is that something else or what? You can just see the crunchiness on the outside. That delicious filled sandwich. Oh. Of course, hit it with whatever sauce you like. I'm going to hit it with a little bit of uh, barbecue sauce. I've got a little bit of Parmesan cheese. I've got a little bit of beautiful parsley going over the top of that. And you've just made a gorgeous meal. So whether you're cooking for one or whether you're cooking for 21, it is so, so simple. Mate, I mean, I even played with this. Imagine this. Imagine taking a muffin, right? Now, here's the deal. We always buy muffins in sets of six or sets of four. Right. And you eat them. But then guess what? Two days later, you're looking at a muffin thinking, no, nah, it's not going to taste any good. This is what you do. Pull the paper off it, stick it in my grilled sandwich maker, oh my right, gosh. my stuffed sandwich maker, Look at and you. guess what? You just squash <laughs> it down. Okay, here's how it comes out. You're not going to believe your eyeballs. Have a look. It's now hot. It is oh. now. You've taken a muffin that's maybe a day or two old, and you've just breathed new life into it because it's gone crisp on the outside. It's still perfectly fluffy on the inside. You might want to serve it with a little bit of whipped cream. You might want to hit it with a little oh, raspberry man. sauce or a yeah. little caramel sauce over there. Finish it with just a tiny bit of powdered sugar. And I tell you what, buddy, let me cut into it. Because, yes, it's crisp on the outside, but you've still got all of that delicious, fluffy raspberry muffins are gorgeous in this as well. So, you name it, and you can throw it in here, and that is why we love it so much. We got to come up with a, a new a name for that, like either the crunchy muffin right. or whatever. We got it. That is, <laughs> well, that's brilliant. And you know what? It also, and I'm glad you brought it up, Curtis. It also uh, lets you know if you've got something that's stale. Even it's, because you know, I, I love a sourdough bread when you buy it sliced at the market, but after day two or day three, it doesn't have that same kind of softness. Put it in the toaster right. oven, put it in the little sandwich maker because it, it revives the bread and you're not throwing away bread or making breadcrumbs out of it or, or, or croutons. You're actually utilizing it. So you get, you kind of bring it to life. It's like we used to do that in the restaurant with bacon, right? Always stick the bacon back on the heat before you put it in a sandwich. It brings it back to life. You will love this. So whether you're making Cuban sandwiches, you're making- Aw, what a guy. Oh, there's our little Valerie. She's sitting right next to the sandwich. Whatever it is you make, I love the fact that you can be creative because you'll come up with like, you know, we just had Thanksgiving not too long ago. 
stuffing, right. turkey, cranberry. You can make your own little sandwich, your own little pocket sandwiches for the kids to go to take to school. Right? You can do all those wonderful things. And if you're just sitting around one day and you got nothing to eat, if you got some bread and you want to make like a tuna melt, oh, Swiss cheese, you could oh, do yeah. that. that would be delicious, right? Absolutely delicious. And that's what's so cool. Now, over here, I'm going to reach on in. Again, I'm showing you how to use the leftovers. Now, I'm just remembering, last night when I got home, I had a quick read of my Instagram, and somebody was asking about this, that gorgeous little uh, gold lifter. Here it is. It's a set of four pieces. So it comes in this gorgeous gift box. It's the, the sieve, the measuring spoons, the lifter and the whisk. So if you're looking for a gift, go to hsn.com. Every single item that I sell is on free shipping and handling right now. It is the time to buy because the prices are unbelievable. You can see what I'm doing here, Guy. This is actually some leftover chili. Oh, oh my. man. I mean, are you joking me? Look at this sandwich. Oh. It's just so unbelievable. You can fit so much. You can't even see it through the stringy cheese. But here's what's so great about it. No matter what's in your in your fridge, whether it's leftover chili, leftover bolognese sauce, some leftover barbecue, the flavors of these sandwiches will blow your mind. Look, I'm so excited. I'm throwing parsley all over the all oh over the gosh, counter. Oh my gosh! Look at that. <laughs> you can just see that how simple good. that is. That looks pretty so, dang good. Imagine if you had some cornbread. Put some cornbread in there with some chili. <laughs> you can do. I mean, think about it. I'm, I'm having trouble just controlling my head because my mind is just thinking about all the different combinations that you could do with this and all the fun. And, you know, if you are giving it to a couple, you know, as a gift, what's nice is they can make their sandwiches at the same time. You know, they could say, they could compete, like who makes the best sandwich? It would be so much fun. It's not just about the food, it's about the experience. It's about creating something that you made yourself. And you don't need to be a Michelin star chef. You don't need to have worked in the restaurant business for a bunch of years. You just need the right tools, and that's what this is. So whether you're making sandwiches, I love that you you heated up some bacon in there. You could probably put a little sausage patty in there and heat that up if you just want to make something for yourself. I mean, it has so... Hey, we didn't just, Go ahead. We didn't, just, we didn't just warm it up. We literally cooked Did the you sausage cook it in there? To start to wow. We crisped the bacon from start to finish. The hash browns you can do in here, the muffins, the, the biscuits, the, it really is endless. I mean, I've got chicken teriyaki going on right now. So leftover chicken teriyaki, over some cheese, throw in a couple of little slices of pineapple. I've got some onions. I've got more cheese. Look how I can stack this high. I mean, are you joking me? That fits in here? Yes, it does. You give it one little squash, and then, of course, you pull that down. It clamps. Here it is. You guys, this is a dream. So this is actually... I actually took a tiny bit of cheese came out the side of this, and I went right on back in. I put it on the top just to prove to you that cheese on the top will not even uh, burn. I know this looks like a little bit of a mess when you take it out, but wait until you see it on the inside because here's the first size. Let me just break this open. Oh, wow. I mean, oh my gosh. are you joking? Size. It is a stuffed sandwich maker, you guys, and the great thing is you can fit so much in here because the flavors of what we're doing is just so unbelievable. Have a look at that. A little bit of barbecue sauce over that teriyaki. Oh, my goodness. Now, we also have these sauces available for you. This is my soy ginger glaze. That is beautiful um, with some of that. Also, the sriracha aioli. So, if you're interested in picking up a couple of sauces that are just gorgeous to, uh, to dip with, this is a wonderful option for you as well, Guy. I just, like I said, every time, every time I watch what you're doing, I'm just thinking in my head, what do I have in my refrigerator? I, especially right. this time of year, I've got so many leftovers. I just got rid of the last turkey like two days ago because I made my turkey late because I had to work on Thanksgiving. But it could be any type of a sandwich meat, any kind of a, uh, you could do bread spreads inside here. You could do sweet savory you could do hors d'oeuvres i mean you could do so many different things but you know that time where you're just hungry and you can't figure out what to eat but you want something warm because it's snowing outside this is the machine you want am i going to do colors again or, or do we have time for that one last time with colors and then we'll move on to the bacon so everybody that orders gets two not one they're two for about twenty dollars a piece great gift um, two in black a black and a yellow a black and a white you also get the black with the hunter green. This is classic blue and black, stone gray. Also comes with the black one. We have the mulberry, turquoise and black, and then finally red and black. And everybody gets the little recipe book booklet. Item number is, eyes don't fail me, 848623. 
free shipping and handling. Greatest gift, so much fun. The gift that keeps on giving. All right, so I'm gonna move on to bacon. I have not presented the bacon to you before. I've talked to Marlo about it and a couple other uh, hosts, and they're like, it's absolutely to die for. I'm a big fan of thick cut bacon, bacon, but it has to be crispy. I don't like my bacon rubbery. You know, I've been over to Paris a couple times and they like their bacon really rubbery and it's not for me. But it's totally up to you, but I like my bacon crispy. And the way to do it is not to cook it fast, okay, super fast. What you want to do is you want to, thanks Kelsey, what you want to do is you want to cook it like slow to medium. Let it almost like bacon there and look at how gorgeous this bacon comes out. The top to bottom, I mean, Curtis, I've never seen bacon this gorgeous. We are doing a four pack. You get 12 ounces, you get 48 ounces of bacon. You get four of these packs. They're all thick, so this is gourmet bacon, all right? The best bacon in the business. If you're a BLT fan, you need to be ordering this right now. I'm gonna order it when I get off the show. We dropped the price from 109 down to 89.99. I know we don't have a lot of time, Curtis. I'm gonna let you go right into it, go ahead. Well, mate, check out this gorgeous bacon here. It cooks up so perfectly, and it's because of the way we make it. It is all natural. There are no nitrates. There are no nitrites. It comes to you in four packs, all frozen on dry ice, of course, right? So it comes to you like this, right? So it comes to you, you throw it in the freezer. When you need a pack, you take out a pack. Um, guy, first of all, you want it nice and crisp? Oh, yeah, throw, throw it away, okay? Because that's how bacon's supposed to be. Um, Here's the deal. I'm cooking it in a pan, and you can see how I just turn it. You're right, don't over, don't cook it on too high a heat. You can see some of that fat will render out of the bacon, of course. So you can do it this way, or Matt, bring it over from the oven as well, because I know you've got it in the oven. By the way, this pan, this gorgeous little griddle, it's less than $30. So if you wanted to pick up on that, or drop it right there for me, mate. Thank you so much. Look what Matt's done. He's actually oh. roasted it. So we put it on a trivet, you can put it on a little rack. Have a look at that bacon. Unbelievable. Super, super crisp. And of course, it will just snap like that so you can serve it with eggs in the morning. You can use it, of course, everybody that just picked up on our grilled cheese um, sandwich maker, you should probably get yourself some bacon too. I mean, just check it out. <coughs> Give it a try. You will absolutely fall in love. Look at these little um, breakfast tacos I've done. Eggs, on bacon. I mean, are you joking? Unbelievable. Yeah. I, I will tell you, I, I've had bacon everywhere. <laughs> I've had the, you know, the, what is it, the Benton's bacon. I've had every kind of, I've been all over the country. That's the best bacon I think I've ever tasted. Look at that caramelization on it. Look at the even distribution of fat to meat. Um, you know, because this is pork belly, so when you look at it, you see how beautifully it's, dis it's uh, distributed. And when you see that mahogany color, that's how you know bacon is cooked properly. And I'm telling you, right. I always, I don't know about you, Curtis, I always like to, I cook my bacon over a little bit longer and slower, because that way it cooks a little more even. But the flavor on yep. this, Kelsey, you want to try Isn't a piece of bacon? Good? Come out here. I'm going to give Kelsey, she's never had it before. Here, try that piece of bacon. <laughs> Kelsey, get ready. I'm telling you. It's good. <laughs> Rob, I was talking to my director, Rob. Remember we were talking about this? This bacon is ridiculous. I mean, it is that, it's amazing. So good. Gourmet. Isn't it so good? So, so but here's why it's so good. We smoke mm. it with hard wood. Right, so we put the time in. I mean, look at these little bacon wrap dates. You might want to do bacon wrap. What's that called? Devil on a horseback or, yeah. or angels on a horseback? Um, if you do it with oysters. But here it is coming out. I mean, over that breakfast mm. platter. And of course, when people are in town from the holidays, you like your, your food to have stories, right? And the truth is, when you've got a good story, like no nitrates, no nitrites, all smoked over hardwood. Our recipe. You can trust us with food. We've become HSNs. Highest rated food brand, and there it is, you guys. But listen, happy holidays. Enjoy your new purchases. I know you're going to absolutely love them. Everything on free shipping, you guys. It's amazing. Look at that. It's an egg sandwich with cheese and bacon on it that we made in the sandwich maker. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Melissa, that's ridiculous. I think Melissa cooked this for us. Curtis, you are the man. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> hey, I'm just having a great time. I mean, what is it? 7 o'clock in the morning over here on the West Coast. Hey, it's, 10, it's okay. It's 10 o'clock here. You're good. Thank you, Curtis. Good to see you. Curtis is coming back in another hour or two. 
You know, we did our $25 gift card. I am so sorry you see me running outside, inside. I'm sorry I didn't get to say hi to all my Facebook friends, but you know you are, and I'll get to you next week. Um, our $25 gift card winner she is, I won't tell you her name yet. She said, I mailed all my Christmas cards on December 1st. I'm on it this year. This is my first time in the chat room. Please pick me, guy. Well, Benita, you won. Benita wins. Pretty name, right? Benita means pretty. Uh, Benita, congratulations. We'll get you hooked up with your $25 gift card. Don't forget, Valerie has her show tomorrow, The Sweet Valerie. I'm going to put a gift under the tree for her. Callie and Alice will be joining you next. Have a great, great rest of your weekend. See you.